Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today I've had a request uh, from um, one of the viewers to do something with my fans. That's uh, computer fans. The question was how difficult it is to replace a fan blower in an IBM 335, which is the oldest model that I have here in my little home data center. So I thought, well, I've never changed a fan in a server, uh, neither at work or here. So what would happen if a fan failed? <coughs> Sorry if I'm sounding a bit sick, that's because I am sick. But you need videos, right? You can't have me going around being sick, not delivering. So, we're gonna be looking at the fans. I had turned on this little, oh you can't see it, but it's down here. Yeah, I turned on this e-server and it's the X-Series 336, not 335. Sorry about that. Uh, I turned it on and it's on the screen up here. It's a 2008 standard server I just put on there. I put that on in a previous video, but that is running and hopefully we can keep that running. It's not doing anything, I don't think that's really necessary, but um, hopefully we can keep it running. So, how do we change a fan in this server? Here's the server and it's on. Uh, the thing that I really don't like about this server is it's not an actual rails. It's on kind of a system where it's sliding on some... Oh, well, it's, it's sliding in there. If you get it out too far, it will just drop on the floor. Uh, apparently, I need to... Do. Yeah, like that. So, um, I need to check some cable in the behind of it. Something is not coming along. Okay, so I got the server up and working again. It just fell out of the thing it's, it's going forth and back on. But I really don't enjoy this system at all. But let's go see the fans. They are down here. <clears throat> Behind these doors. And there are fans with a little cable. And, well, that was part of the question. What do I think about these little cables? And, um, well, I'm not a big fan. Ha 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 ha. We're gonna try and simulate a failure on one of the fans. And um, I have picked a toothpick. I could also be using a match, but I'm just gonna do it with the toothpick. And let's just pick some fan. Let's take the middle one over here and simulate that that has just stopped. Oh, that was messy. Yeah. The server complains. Oh, we have a bad fan. So how do you replace a fan in a server that has failed? Well, the information is on the LED over here. Right here is something about replacing fans. This is about replacing the fans that are right here. And over here on the, this LED, there are the information about the fans over here. And this thing says that uh, I have to replace the fan within five minutes or the system will shut down. Okay. I think we can do that. Okay, this fan is, um, is the one that I've uh, broken. And there's a red diode down here indicating that this fan is uh, bad. Why didn't, why didn't I show you that? We better see that. Right there is the red diode indicating that this fan has failed. Let's see, five minutes? Hmm. Apparently I have to take this thing up, which is... This one is for this one, this one is for this one, and this one must be for this one. So, it's gonna be this one. There. And... Unplug it. I'm gonna uh, remove the obstacle in the fan and hope that my fan is not broken so this is gonna be the, the replacement fan 
So we're playing this as a new one. So I'll plug in the plug in the plug, put the fan back in. And hopefully it will figure out that this fan is okay again. When one of the fans fail, the other fans turn up to probably 100%. Uh, let's just see the picture up here. We are still, Windows is still running. It sounds like they're turning down in speed now. Yeah, they are. Slowly they're, they're trolling back down. Yeah, I think they're about normal now. That wasn't really a big problem. Yeah, now it's nice and quiet again. Just listen to them. Yeah, they're, they're not saying much. I think it helped to have the let down as well. Server maintenance for this dude is over. There we are. And our production environment up here has not been disturbed. Not the slightest, but I would like to show you how this works on my favorite of all time IBM slash Lenovo model. This is the X3650. It has sliding rails. It can go all the way out there and just hang there. And you just open this thing up, take this cover off. And here are all the hot pluggable fans. You can just take one out. It's a bit dusty, but it has its own connection right there. You don't have to mingle with any cable or anything like that. And you just replace it and you plug it in again. Oh, like that. And you have the option, these tabs are orange, which means that they are hot pluggable. That's a thing you can change while the system is running. You also have the option of changing the entire thing, but then you have to shut down the server. You have this bay of fans that you can plug up and all the fans are right here and they go directly down into the system board on this model which is really great favorite model of all time IBM slash Lenovo X3650 M1 oh, uh, don't mind me There we are. And it can't go in because of my switch that's in the way. Well, it seems that I didn't lose any fans on this video anyway. Uh, I did break a toothpaste. I hope you got something out of this. It's really easy to exchange a fan as long as it has orange plastic on it. Uh, I didn't test what happens after five minutes on this because it doesn't take that long to change a fan. Just read what's on the lid of the box and you're pretty good. I didn't, I didn't go read anything on the internet or anything like that. Knew that there was something on the lid of the box, so I said, well, I'll just see what they say about that. I show this in all of my videos on IBM slash Lenovo servers. All the information that they put inside the box for maintenance guys like me to do a great job or a good job or the job or uh, I didn't lose any fans if you would like to be one and subscribe it's down here there's also a like button I always forget where it's at but do like my videos thank you for watching my videos do subscribe so that you can see me again and have a really nice day bye bye